All right, so dads leave the room. Everyone else gather around because we're about to help you make a fabulous Father's Day breakfast. Absolutely. Yes. And joining us this morning is Chef Jeffrey with Farm Table Cucina and Locale. Good morning, so I'm everyone. See seeing some sausages, some eggs, some oh, yeah. peppers. What, what's going well, on you here? You told me that you ladies were smelling it from the newsroom. Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> for me, of course, I have a young family. On Father's Day, I just want to relax, keep things, you know, nice and simple. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is a great, easy dish that you can prepare for dad at home. Of course, all of these ingredients are available at Locale Market. So I tell you what, Izzy, okay. if you want to go ahead and drop a couple of oh, those God. eggs in our simmering water. It. Okay, I got this. Just like a pro. Now, wow. when you're poaching eggs, you want to make sure that the water is just at a simmer not at a boil, of course, and a little bit of that distilled white vinegar will help those eggs set. So here in my big cast iron, which is my favorite thing to cook on, I've got some uh, yellow onions, some sweet bell peppers, red and yellow as well, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of thyme. So I'm just gonna put a nice little pile right there in the center. And how long have those been cooking? Um, these have been going for about 15 minutes or so. Okay. You want to do them low and slow so you don't get uh, too much color. Mm -hmm. So I already have a couple of poached eggs there if you want to go ahead and pop a couple right on top. I would love to. And, and how long does it take to poach an egg? That's a great question. Uh, roughly around three minutes or so if you want them to still have sort of a runny yolk, which of course I like that for dipping toast. Ah. So this is some of our house-made locale hot Italian sausage. I've poached this first in just a little bit of water to make sure it's fully cooked. And then, of course, put it in the pound, uh, excuse me, in the pan just to brown it a little bit. So just like that, I tell you what, Lauren, if you want to hit those eggs with a little bit of Maldon salt, of course, that will give it a little bit of salinity and a little bit of crunchy texture. Mm -hmm. Now, Maldon is a sea salt, of course. It's not as salty as, you know, kosher salt or iodized or whatever the case may be. Okay. We're gonna put a little twist of black pepper right on top, hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and then for some of that nice fresh flavor, of course, thyme is my fave, so just a little bit of thyme right on top. And there. make it look a little bit fancy exactly too for Dan, you for know, that. gotta step it up Especially a little bit. If you're gonna be bringing this into the bedroom or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. So a couple pieces of toast right in that bowl. Boom. Boom, wow. perfect. And so how long is, does that take all together? Uh, what are we looking at? This is something, you know, 20 minutes, like wow. from start to finish. So we're just going to go ahead. Oh, look at that. Perfect, uh. delicious, runny egg. Man, this is going to be great. There we go. I think Chef Jeffrey is going to be eating most of this I, in the break. I, we'll just watch. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to him. Perfect. You know, he can. So awesome. Super simple meal that you can yes. make. Smells good, looks good, and is Pretty healthy too. Super healthy, yeah. So, you know, if you remove to... the bread, of course, gluten free. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is great. Even if you don't put the sausage with it, it's still a nice hearty breakfast. Mm -hmm. Of course, tomorrow we're going to be doing uh, brunch specials. This is one of the things that's on the menu available upstairs at Farm Table Cucina. All right, so. fabulous. Thanks so much, Chef Jeffrey. We'll be right back after a quick break.